Hi friends, I am speaking Prabhavaran. Now I am telling about how to fill the some data in drop down list. Okay. First of all, you should open the SQL sorry Microsoft Visual Studio. Now I am filling data in drop down list by using SQL Server with using C Sharp code. Okay. Now see, first of all, I should open the new project ok see create new project in this form in C sharp ok the project name as declare example ok in source And D. Okay. Okay. Now open this project. First of all, you should open this project form. Uh, I am declaring the project form number one. See. Now we need uh, one drop down list. Go to toolbox and then open this folder. Here drop down list where. Mm. Combo box. Okay. This is for the rubber list. Okay. The combo box is into this one. Mm. Now you want to declare some data from database too in this rubber list. Okay. In this combo box. First you want to you should open this double click this combo box. Okay, this is the comb box click event. First, you should declare a library function key. Okay, first of all, you are using, using system dot data dot SQL client for using SQL query. Okay, the purpose I am declaring here the SQL client from a library function. And then using system dot data for the uh, SQL sorry C sharp code okay I'm beginning this one and then after we want to open this uh, uh, in this load event okay I want to open whenever you open this form okay the time the drop down list should be uh, contain some data okay from the database see first of all you should open the uh, form in this load even whenever the form will be load the time only it was filled the data in this uh, drop down list okay uh, combo box okay see first of all you should open the load event double click the form uh, the uh, form load event to open here uh, see you should uh, write here the connection also need ok uh, finally it will be created the connections first of all you should open this uh, SQL query so just, just write uh, SQL server I uh, see this example packet uh, I am already declared here this database and then this open click the connection string came here ok SQL connection Double click and the copy here. Okay. See so declare here SQL connection. SQL connection. Con variable name and then equal new connection close function. Okay. In between gap to double quotation and declare the connection see this data level and then click here double click and copy this string function string and then declare here ok you should open the connection string after that this was declare the SQL query ok uh, declare the connection after you should open the and this load even SQL 
data SQL data down there and such as SBA sorry SBA variable into this data down there equal new data down there ok this function close and then declare the query to this not only select distinct distinct which we are using, using means particular columns you need in this drop down list particular columns of data you should need in this drop down list ok in this drop down list and they see I am showing you see I am showing it this example database that's one of table employee ok I am showing this table of data see the number of columns available in this data 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 5 columns available we need uh, some particular columns which one means uh, declaring as for the uh, name ok we we need name in this drop down list this name column of the data ok so this column name particularly you need means you should using the SQL query in this SQL query distinct ok distinct in this okay. see this distinct column name declare here what is that column name see here column name name ok from employee ok click here name copy it address and declare this query from employee table ok then this table connection closed and then after we want to declare here the connection called the in this space ok and not having error and then this variable called to data table ok um, first one you should work on the data table data table I am declaring data table variable name dt equal to new data table ok sda the sda is the co query calling to the data table and then fill in the data table again okay. sd sda dot fill in dt fill dt ok the data is filled on the table so it will it will, it will be declared in this uh, table ok then we need the data uh, drop down list that's, uh, that's one c sorry uh, open this one uh, what is this this combo box ok declaring the combo box what is the name of the combo box the combo box name ok combo box uh, see come here combo box dot item dot add in this function declare default data between two double quotation ok this uh, this variable name sorry this name on the comma box defaultly ok and then 
before you want should open clear data okay combo box dot items dot clear okay then you should declare the for each condition that purpose only the function will be run in the project data row declaring data row for variable name as row in dt dot rows see the see the data row declaring the variable row the number of rows of table dt declare here okay so in this data is declaring to the data row the data row variable row variable name row okay i am declaring this one and close it and then open this conditions and then the combo box one dot items dot add function close in this function row angle bracket the variable column name which column you declare here in this query name okay that column you should be declare in this comma box okay name and then dot to string okay i will finish it and then close it okay and then save it after i declare and then this one you see uh, the number of six number of six name declared in this table okay same name again again came to here so the purpose which name which one which we need in this one see first of all uh, man this folder came to here so it came okay default is not required okay and this by using the c support uh, with a SQL query and filling the drop down list okay if you not if you not declaring this query and then in starting runtime means see i am mean doing empty this connection see i hide it in control s this code is added so it, it will be not worked okay worked in this project okay and do run it see now not having code from the database to in this comma box okay now i am filling the comma box by using c sharp with the help of sql query okay uh, it is easy way to convert the data from database to drop down list okay see i am again it uh, hide it cancel and then control s now it's work on project see the data will be fill in this project okay okay boys thank you i am telling next tutorial in c sharp okay thanking you